Hey, first grade families and friends, this is Miss Burns here with week five, day two's math lesson. Now, yesterday we started talking about geometry. We said geometry is just a fancy word for the study of shapes. And we were discussing defining attributes of shapes. Today we're going to use the defining attributes of shapes to be able to do some sorting and then explain how we know that those shapes fit in the group. So we're still in 1G1. We're sorting shapes by attributes today. Here are I can statements. I can use attributes to sort a group of shapes. And I can explain that color, size, and position do not define a shape. Those are our non-defining attributes. So here's what we worked on yesterday. Yesterday, we discussed defining and non-defining attributes. We said defining attributes are what you see that stays the same. No matter what, this shape will always have these attributes. That's what makes it that shape. For example, squares are shapes that have four equal sides and four vertices. Triangles are shapes that have three sides and three vertices. So whenever you're looking for defining attributes, we want to know the number of sides that that shape has, as well as the number of vertices. Then we talked about non-defining attributes. Non-defining attributes are what you see that can change. That's not going to change what shape you've got. For example, size, color, and position are all non-defining attributes. It doesn't matter if a square is blue, purple, or green, as long as it has four equal sides and four vertices, it's a square. It doesn't matter if our triangle is upside down, little itty bitty, or big. It's still a triangle if it has three sides and three vertices. Our defining attributes are what tell us what shape we've got. So our job today is this. We're going to use these defining attributes to do some sorting. And we need to decide which shapes we have and whether they belong in one category or another. So here's our first set of shapes. We've got a group here. And we need to decide whether these shapes belong with triangles, rhombuses, or neither at all. And we're going to do that based on the shapes defining attributes. So we know that triangles are shapes that have three sides and three vertices, while a rhombus is a shape that has four sides and four vertices. Its sides are also equal, kind of like a square. But unlike a square, the sides are almost tilted like a diamond. So we're going to take a look at these shapes and see if they belong with triangles or rhombuses or neither at all, based on their defining attributes. So this first one right here, I notice that it has one, two, three sides, as well as one, two, three vertices. That's a defining attribute of a triangle. So I'm going to keep it in the triangle pile. Let's actually move it like this. That's a little bit easier. Now I'm looking at this blue shape here. I notice it has one, two, three, four sides, as well as one, two, three, four vertices. And each side is the same length, but it almost looks like a squished square. It's like a sideways square. This is a rhombus. A rhombus is like a fancy word for a diamond whose sides are all the same. The defining attributes are the number of sides, one, two, three, four, as well as the number of vertices, one, two, three, four. That's a rhombus. Hmm. Our next shape, let's see. The color is different from the other two shapes I've worked with, but I notice it has one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. Those are the defining attributes of a triangle. This must be a triangle. And you know what? As I'm looking, I'm seeing some more shapes that have three sides and three vertices. Here's another one. One, two, three sides. One, two, three vertices or corners. That must also be a triangle. As well as these. They have one, two, three sides, one, two, three sides, and three vertices or corners. One, two, three, one, two, three. Three sides, three vertices, those are defining attributes of triangles. All these shapes here are triangles. Now, does it matter that they're different colors? No, it doesn't. 
Does it matter that they're different sizes? Look, this green, this green one here is much larger. It's significantly larger than this other green one and brown one. Does that matter? No, it doesn't. Does it matter if I start moving them around to different positions? Does it matter? It doesn't matter because size, color, and position are all non-defining attributes. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of our shapes. We've got all of our triangles. Now let's see what we have left. Hmm, these two blue ones look just like this rhombus. Now I could set my rhombus like a diamond or I could put it sideways so it looks like a squished square. Look, these two also have one, two, three, four equal sides. One, two, three, four equal sides. And four vertices. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And instead of a square, where the vertices or the corners look like you can put a square in them, these ones are a little bit squished. So these must also be a rhombus. Now I can turn them sideways. I can move them around. I can move them around on my board. They are still a rhombus or rhombuses because of the number of sides and the number of vertices. They're defining attributes. Let's look at this last shape. This one's a little bit weird. Hmm. It has one, two, three sides, three sides, that makes me think triangle, and one, two, three vertices, three sides, three vertices, that sounds like a triangle, but check out this side here. Is this side straight or is it curved? I notice it's curved. When I rub my finger across it, I can feel it's almost like part of a circle. It's got a curve to it. Triangles don't have curves. Let's look at all of our triangles that we have down here. Yes, they have three sides and three vertices, but all of their sides are straight, not curved. So this is not a triangle, and it can't be a rhombus because rhombuses have to have four sides and four vertices. So it doesn't belong to either. All right, friends, as you are sorting shapes, you have to think about the defining attributes of those shapes. How many sides and how many vertices does it have? Keeping in mind that size, color, and position do not matter. You could also do this with objects that you have around the house. I'm sure you have lots of shapes that you can probably start looking around at and asking yourself what that shape is based on their defining <coughs> attributes. Go ahead and work on your Microsoft form below the video, and tomorrow we'll check in again and we'll start talking more about 2D shapes. Bye, guys!